Hello world, this is Imani David. I'm going to read a poem for you right now, and that poem is called You Are. I will speak to you a little bit about it after I'm through reading it. You Are. And I have always loved you. Before the first dawning of the sun did come, my thirst and longing for you had begun. And as winds to free wings, you are to me the sum of all things eternity brings to balance. The reason seasons turn, fire burns, and dewdrops cling in silence. And for all my days, my beloved, my true, my heart, my soul, shall through time follow your hallowed steps to find you. For you are my gleaming hour, my leaning tower, my budding flower, my stars, my April showers, my latent powers, you are my Dante's infernal wars, my entombing ire, my consuming fire, my soul's desire, my lore, my winter's snow, my moon's looming halo, you are my meaning, my meandering eternal shore. This is a poem um, that took me about 11 years to finish. I was living in Barcelona, Spain at the time, going through my issues. I uh, finished the poem when I was vacationing with my family in uh, Bodega Bay, California in about 2010. Um, I, uh, when I was living in Barcelona, of course, as, as I said, I was going through a lot of things. But when I wrote the poem, um, I was listening to Dvorak's Song to the Moon uh, in the background. And I think that that music, the intro especially, became the underlying math for the poem. And uh, that piece, if you're familiar with it, after the intro, it changes dramatically. And I think that uh, I was not able to complete the poem because the mathematics behind the poem, uh, unbeknownst to me, had changed. I think that's the case, I'm not sure. In any event, um, when I visited uh, Bodega Bay, and looked at uh, you know the mountains off US one US Highway one and those you know really great cliffs, uh, and I saw the shoreline that never seemed to end. The uh, the end of the poem came to me, and so, and so I wrote that, and I was able to finish it uh, almost a decade or a little over a decade later. Since then, folks have emailed me. Um, you know, I posted it on my website imanidaver.com it's been a few other places I haven't formally published the poem but folks have emailed me and they've thanked me for the poem they say that they have used it one person said that they've used it during a wedding ceremony I was really really humbled by that um, another person emailed me over the over time and said that they uh, they used it they printed it and, and hung it in their child's uh, bedroom. They had just had a newborn that they were trying to have for quite some time and and so they read the poem that way, you know, um, for a to welcome a newborn and, and again I'm just humbled that uh, you know another soul could use my words in such a way. Um, it really it really makes me feel um, I don't know, words I have no words to describe that. Uh, in any event, uh, I hope you like it. I hope you use it. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, and, you know, thank you for listening. The poem is You Are, and hopefully it reaches you. Take care, YouTube. Thank you.